everyone, welcome back to Christina Land and the wonderful world of Barbie. This Barbie's only piece of clothing that's pink is this shirt. And I know it's not exactly pink, but it's the pinkest pink that I have. So that's what we're going with. Hi everyone, welcome back to Christina Land, a place for grown-up gift givers and adult toy collectors. To celebrate the release of Barbie today, I thought we'd take a look at four different kind of Barbies all different price points. We have a Barbie Fashionista, and this one can run, the list price is about $11, but if you wait for her to go on sale, you can get her for maybe $7, maybe even cheaper. Um, I bought her at full price because she is the Barbie doll with Down syndrome, and she keeps going out of stock because I wanted to get her. What I love about Barbie Fashionistas is that they're a much cheaper price, 10, 11 dollars, or you can find them on sale, like if it's been a year sometimes for five bucks or even less. I uh, was able to get some Barbie fashionistas several months ago for like two or three bucks at Target. It was great. But these are a lot less, and then they have great diversity. Like I said, this Barbie fashionista has Down syndrome. They have also made Barbie fashionistas with vitiligo, um, amputees, all different kinds of hair textures, different face molds. Their clothes are not the best. Like, generally, their clothes are not the best. I actually really like this dress that this Barbie doll is wearing. It's so cute and colorful and fun. But usually their clothes are not the best. But, um, I don't know. Just what's great about Barbies, you can get them for all different prices. So that one is about $10 to $11. This Barbie doll represents kind of a Playline doll, like a Playline play set doll. That would... Well, back then when she first came out, I believe it was 2020. Yeah. Well, she came out because it was supposed to be for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, which obviously got pushed to 2021. So I think she did come out in 2020. I believe at that time about 18 bucks. Probably now, honestly, the price would be 20, 22, 23, just because prices have gone up on these dolls. And I love that she has an Olympic tunic that you can put on her. And she comes with a skateboard because this Olympic Barbie is a skateboarder. Then we have an inspiring woman Barbie doll. These now are listed for $35. They used to be $30 when they first um, went on the market. They might have been less, but when I paid attention to them, it was $30. But now they're $35. This one I have here is Eleanor Roosevelt. So the skateboarding Barbie and the Eleanor Roosevelt Barbie, they are currently not available. I don't think they will be available anymore. Um, so there are no links for them, but I will put a link to the Barbie Fashionista with Down Syndrome and also this Barbie Rewind Movie Nights Kira doll. So her face mold is Kira, which I used to have a Kira doll back in the early 90s. So I'm really, really excited to have a Kira doll again. These are now, Fashion Rewind is now $45, which honestly I think is a ridiculous price for them. And so I paid, uh, I waited till it got on sale and I got her on sale because $45 is too much. It used to be $40, now it's $45 because Barbie prices have gone up, which is why Fashionistas used to be $9.99, maybe even $8.99, but now they're $10.99. And why I would assume that this skateboarding bar, which is like about $18 in 2020, she'd probably be 22 or 23 now. So all different ranges, all different prices. Um, the only one, the only Barbies that I think are worth their price would be the Fashionista. And then Inspiring Women Barbie dolls. Just because if it's a person that you really admire, then uh, get the Barbie doll when you can. Uh, I've said this before, but I'm still kicking myself for not getting the first round of Inspiring Women. Oh, they all go for so much now and, um, mm, okay. So I'm gonna pause the camera and then we're gonna open each of these and compare each of these and I will be right back. I'll try to remember to time myself for each Barbie, but I'll be right back and we can see the differences. And if the $45 one is really worth $45, she does come with lots of accessories, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Really quickly coming in to show you the Kira 
box set and that she has a movie poster right in front that has perforation that you can just tear off and uh, looks like it's a scary movie that she's watching that's going to be movie nights. Barbie, the scary movie because there's slime going on and she looks scared. Alright, I'm almost done opening her and I'll be right back. Okay, so that took way, way, way too long to open all these. Like, just way too long. <sighs> um, the first two I'm going to show, not that long, but the other two. Okay, so the first one we have is the Fashionista. And, um, let's look if she has a number. Okay, I don't, <laughs> I don't know where the box went, because I opened a lot of these. Um, but she is a uh, Barbie with Down Syndrome, and I'll put a link in the description below. It is an Amazon affiliate link, so if you use that, it'll make a small commission that will help the channel. And I have to say, out of the different fashionistas, she has the prettiest dress. It is yellow and blue with butterflies, and that is a symbol of Down Syndrome. What I'm going to do, too, is put a link below to the article from Mattel that says how they worked with the National Down Syndrome Society to create her, but she is really pretty. She has blonde hair, uh, kind of blonde brown hair with blonde streaks, smaller brown eyes, pale skin, a nice open smile, dark blonde eyebrows, pink necklace that represents the three chromosomes. Again, it'll be explained in the article. And then leg stilts that are connected to her white tennis shoes. Her hair is not the best quality, but it's not the worst quality. Um, <laughs> actually, as I go on, uh, the other dolls I have, aside from Eleanor Roosevelt, whose hair is gel beyond belief, they have worse quality hair, which doesn't make sense because they're more expensive. Um, I think she is a fantastic doll. I highly, highly recommend her. Now, she only has five points of articulation, so you can move her head to the left, to the right, up and down, tilt at the shoulders, and then she can sit down. And the Fashionista Barbie took about a minute and a half to open. Next we have this Tokyo Barbie that was released in 2020. Her hair is worse than the Fashionista. It's not good quality. And um, I just have to say that I quickly felt Claudine's hair, just the same Claudine's hair, G3, felt better quality than this hair. And I know G3's hair is poly, so I'm going to assume this Barbie is poly too, but her poly does not feel as nice as Claudine. Just put it out there. So she does come with a helmet, wrist pads, knee pads, stretchy capri dark pants that look like jeans, but it's not. An orange shirt with a cartoon of a cat that underneath says Tokyo 2020. And then I put her gold ribbon, which um, I don't know if you could tell my camera, I don't think it's focusing. But it's just the uh, Barbie head on her gold medal. It's not a uh, one or anything like that. Hot pink shoes. She has light brown hair, smaller dark brown eyes, open mouth smile with pink lips, dark brown eyebrows. She does come with a pink skateboard that has little holders for her feet. And the skateboard can roll. And the wheels are black. And the other side has a heart, the bottom side. And then she came with this other top. That is like, I think a white jacket that has different designs on the front than Barbie. And then on the back has the Tokyo Olympics. Let me see if I can put this on top of the shirt she's wearing. The jacket can go over the top. It just, uh, you know, you can tell obviously that she's wearing clothes underneath because it's bunching a bit, but it can go over the top. She can bend her head, tilt her head left, right, up and down, side at the shoulders, at the elbow, at the wrist. She can sit down and then she does have knee joints, which helps if you're a skater. She took about three minutes to open. Okay, now we're gonna get more to the disillusionment part of this uh, video. Next came the Eleanor Roosevelt doll. She has a plastic black hat with white painted rose that I am not trying to take off because I don't think I'll uh, I'll be able to put it back on. Uh, very, 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 very short curly hair that is brown and gelled beyond belief. Like, 
you would have to wash that really good if you wanted to try and take it out, but I'm not going to because I'm not going to. It's it's gelled and it's what it is. Comes with pearl necklace and this flower dress that is not the greatest material. It's not great material. It's not bad material, but you would think for now a $35 doll, it'd be much better doll. Uh, it'd be much better material. Like, you know, it doesn't... It's just, it's very thin material. Like, it's not papery like Hasbro or when Mattel does cheap, cheap Disney dolls. But, I don't know. I wonder if May is supposed to be a form of taffeta. But still, it's very thin. And then she has see-through tights. And this took me six and a half minutes to open because I kept trying to get these cardboard things off of her knees, but it wasn't going to happen. But you can see she does have knee joints. So these cardboard things will stay there. And then black, um, just black kind of boring shoes painted on laces. She does come with a stand and then a papery certificate of authentic authentication. Authenticity? Authenticity, there we go. Can move her head to the left, to the right, up and down, at the shoulders. I believe at the elbows. Okay, yeah. She does have elbow joint, elbow joints. They're just, um, they're really stiff. So we're not going to try to, uh, yeah, we're not going to try to move them. <laughs> As I showed you before, she does have knee joints and then she can sit down. Something else she does have are white little pearl buttons. Like they don't fasten or anything. They're just, uh, actual buttons though on the front of her dress. So I was kind of disillusioned with her because I was expecting nice material for her dress. I opened the anime Wong Inspired Women series doll and her dress is gorgeous. Wonderful material, feels so nice, it looks so nice. It's gorgeous. Um, yeah, but this is just like, I mean, thankfully I didn't pay full price for her because I usually try not to pay full price. Unless it's something I really, really want and want right at that moment, and I'm afraid it will sell out. So, so far, the fashion, fashionista one is the only one that has five points of articulation. The other two can move at their elbows and their knees. Um, so now, we have just my greatest disappointment. And um, another thing about Inspiring Women and this $45 one, that took 10 minutes to open because it took forever to get every single thing out of her box, like, so much. They do come with stands, so there is that. But let's look at my disappointment, shall we? You can see indentation marks at the back of Kira's legs. Why? They didn't, she didn't have holes in those spots, like there were no plastic packaging, like plastic ties that were to her, yet she has holes in those spots. Also, her hair is horrible. Her hair is the worst quality out of all these Barbie dolls. She is $45. But $45, you get not good quality hair, a plastic scrunchie that's in her hair. You do get the Kira face mold, which I am happy because I really loved my Kira doll as a kid. I don't know why I got rid of her, sad. And you do get a heart ring. Oh, you know, those kinds of rings always came with 90 dolls. White bracelet. And a watch. Oh, another bracelet, but it's a pink bracelet. You get accessories. That is a popcorn bucket <laughs> on a pink tray. An icy, it looks like, that you can take the lid off. A pretzel. And you get two of these paper tickets. Uh, one of them fell, but I don't care because they're not important because it was hard to take out and they bent anyway. This purse, this non-functional purse, that is like a Sunday, and then these 3D glasses. Now why I'm disillusioned is because G3 Monster High, which is made by the same company, Mattel, they make functioning backpacks or purses. Their hair quality is better, yes. I know, I don't know hair types as well. And I'm probably, you know, how dare I say Claudine's hair is better than a Barbie. But I'm telling you, it is. Her hair, Claudine's hair feels so much better than this Kara Barbie. That costs $45, but Claudine only costs $25. Claudine's 
Claudine had more accessories. She had a functioning bag. Like I said, most of the G3 Monster High dolls do have a functioning bag. Granted, some of them are just like little slits, so you can put not so much in their backpacks. But they function more. Now, they do not come with stands. But another thing about Generation 3, and I'm only saying Generation 3 Monster High because they're made by the same company, is their clothing is better. Aside from the fashionista who, you know, I expect that $11 doll that probably would go on sale one day for like $7 doll, their quality clothing not the best, but honestly her clothes do feel good. Her dress feels like nice quality. But the rest of these Barbies, especially the $35 and the $45 one, do not feel like good quality. Now, I mean, I guess the nice thing about Kira is you can take this pink little pink and white I think you can. <laughs> Skirt thing off. So now Kira has kind of a crop top looking pink shirt that has a bucket of popcorn and then leopard print black and silver pants that are really short. <laughs> they're not shorts, but they're not capri. I don't know, they stop at the knee. I don't know what those pants are called. Do you know? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> But the pants don't feel great. I guess the shirt's okay. It feels like cotton. That's not bad, I guess. I think I'm just frustrated that, um, I don't know why, but it definitely makes me pause to want to get more Barbie Rewind dolls because, again, I got her on sale. Her little uh, ponytail that's held by the plastic scrunchie is crimped, so there's that. So I expect that not to feel good, but the rest of her hair is straight. Like, the rest of her black hair is straight and does not feel good quality. I do like that she's the Kira face mold. The dark brown eyes, the red hot pink lips, I do like that. I was thinking of getting the Christie Slumber Party because I really like the Christie face mold and I also had a Christie Barbie doll. Um, but now I'm not sure. Or I might wait a year and see if she can go on sale for like $18 and then get her, but... I'm honestly really disappointed with this doll. So... <laughs> I don't know, I, this is supposed to be a celebration of all things Barbie, but I'm a little disappointed in you, Barbie. I mean, I'm still going to see the movie. I'm definitely going to see the movie, but um, yeah, it's kind of a bummer review. Usually, I don't have bummer reviews. That's depressing. I'm trying to see how to end this. Um, well, hey, in my opinion, $45 Kira, it's better than a $50 Barbie doll that, yes, has Margot Robbie's face, but doesn't come with anything else except the clothes on her back. Can you say that with a Barbie? I guess so. <laughs> um, so there's that. Despite Eleanor Roosevelt's very thin dress, um, you know, the, the last Inspiring Woman Inspiring Women series Barbie I got was Anime Wong, and she's definitely worth the $35 price. So, I guess it's like, I don't know, you just kind of hope. <laughs> like, you hope you get something you like, and I also don't like that Kira's back of the legs have a bunch of holes in it. What's up with that? That's not okay, man. That's not okay. Yeah. I don't know. Um, do you guys have any of these Barbie's doll Barbie dolls? Am I being way too harsh with my criticism? I might be. And, uh, or it could just be my particular bar Barbies that I got just wasn't the best for whatever reason. And it was just my batch that I got. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny um, that the more expensive ones are the ones I'm really disappointed with. Um, this Playline one, again, I think was $18 when it first came out. I got it for $12 at Ross. And then the $11 Fashionista, which I think is great. Like, I really like her. Probably the most, honestly. I think that's why I really like Fashionistas, because I know what I'm getting. And I know there are some people who get them for body swaps. I just think the dolls are pretty. And not always, but usually I also like the fashions that come with the Barbie Fashionistas. Um, not always, though. There's one I have that I need to redress that the fashion is just no. No, no, no. But thankfully they make Barbie clothes. So I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you going to see the Barbie movie? Because I definitely am. Um, yeah, again, I might have just gotten the wrong kind of batches. Um, just uh, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. And remember, it's okay to like what you like. 
So if you like any of these, like way more than I do, that's awesome. Be who you are and stay good at heart. Bye, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh yeah, and please, uh, if you like this video, please like, please subscribe for more, please turn on your notifications, please share with your friends, maybe they're curious about the different kinds of Barbie doll. Um, again, I think the fashionista for the price, great. I also think the Playline dolls that are like 20-ish, 22, they're really fun. Like, you know, this isn't the worst of clothing, but to me, the ones that are more for adults, that are these collector dolls, they need to be better quality, especially if Monster High Playline dolls are better quality than these. Anyway, uh, that is it, and I always, for real this time, see you in the next video. Bye!